Now, motor, we got six obey commands, one unresponsive. Let's fill in the middle. Now, this has to do, this actual part, with a painful stimulus and how the patient responds to a painful stimulus, right? So if they obey commands, okay, six, one unresponsive. Five means the patient is able to localize where the pain is. So let's say they have an arm injury, they can say, oh, my arm, they have a hole in their arm, they're holding their arm, they can feel the arm, right? They're not obeying commands though, localizes pain. Withdraws from pain would mean, let's say you were storing an, let's say you were storing an IV in the patient and they started to pull away, and they pull away, they were strong from the pain, so they can still sense that, right? But they're moving away from it, withdraws from pain. Now here is, there's two fancy ones, if you will. Abnormal flexion and abnormal extension. Now, here's the best way I can describe it to you. If you go up to, let's say, you go up to your patient, the corticate posturing towards the core, towards the core. So, what I have is an abnormal flexion. Well, extension is out like this, flexion is in like this. So, I'm going to flex in like this. This is the actual the corticate posturing, it's something like this. Okay. Now, the other one here, the abnormal flexion, which we have here, the cerebrate, is like this. So you can't see my wrist, but I'm gonna move my wrist out like this. See how the, the normal, I go like this, bring them to the side, and I'm extending, and I'm like this. That is the maneuver. So we go to corticate, three, two. This is the posturing of the patient. One, unresponsive. Right, again, think a classic cardiac arrest, try to put it in your head. So we go down from that, obeying commands, localize, I see where the pain is, I'm just withdrawing from the pain. We have it to corticate posturing, we have it to cerebral posturing, and then we have an responsive. And there it is.